Hi, hi, Shreya. How's everything? हेलो <laughs> yeah, hi everyone. Welcome to SS podcast. Uh, so coming on to our guest today, this is Shreya Solanki. She completed her Bachelor of Pharmacy from Sri Govind Ram Sanskriya Institute of Science and Technology, Indore, and uh, she qualified her GPAT with an All India rank of around forty nine, and did her Master's in Pharmacology from IIT BHU. So today's topic would be basically about GPAT. Uh, so I'll just give you a brief introduction about GPAT. Who doesn't know about some people might be watching. Who doesn't know about GPAT, right? So GPAT is nothing but the full form of GPAT is Graduate Pharmacy Aptitude Test. It is an All India examination conducted by NTA to for the administration of M Pharmacy. Until 2018, NTA used to conduct it, and after 2018, AACP started to conduct this examination, and uh, roughly around 50 to 60 thousand of students will give the examination and the government of india will provide 12400 as a stipend per each student uh, every month and uh, i too myself qualified the same exam too but my rank was too high <laughs> rather compared with 49 and uh, yeah that's it so just let dive into the topic so like okay yeah so my first question and after gpat like what your present role what you are currently doing okay so after completing my masters from iit bhu and my specialization was pharmacology currently i am working as a, a market research analyst which is focused on competitive intelligence and in that uh, if we talk about my role specifically i am a clinical trial data analyst uh, focusing on oncology so like uh, we analyze all the clinical trials happening around the world and okay. we provide data for that and uh, the company for which i'm working is stem which is situated in gurgaon okay gurgaon you currently in gurgaon then in cr then okay. uh, yes i am currently in gurgaon uh, as i have i'm having in hybrid mode so okay. i am currently here only yeah so my first question would be like uh, how you got to know about gpat that was my main question because while i was studying in my b form i was in knowing about gpat until final year like about my seniors no one used to say me about like gpat is there there is an examination so how you got to know about gpat yes yes i too didn't know and until i entered in b form like before b form i have no idea and uh, most of the students of b form are dropouts of neat or medical which yeah. do not get admission that's the harsh reality of pharmacy actually so uh, most of us when we prepare prepare for like m neat or something medical exam and we are not able to qualify we move towards b pharmacy so similar was my case i moved towards b pharmacy and uh, there when i uh, like when i got admission in uh, gsits indore which was like among a top institute in uh, mp you can say madhya mm -hmm. pradesh it is a top institute i secured admission through my 12th uh, like percentage on the basis of 12th i secured around 92% in 12th yeah. so on the basis of that i got admission and when i entered for one year i had no knowledge of gpat completing one year i had no knowledge then in second year through like teachers and all seniors i came across okay there is some all india level of examination of after which you can get a good pharma college for masters and also the stipend we get that is also yeah. a bonus thing so yeah. you can complete your m farm with that stipend so uh, when i i got to know from my seniors and teachers only from there and then yeah. i thought okay i need to do it yeah so what do you think how important gpat exam for a pharma graduate uh i didn't uh, got can you repeat it yeah yeah i'm just saying how important is gpat exam for a pharma graduate for example uh so like after b form most of them choose to like go to jobs and uh, with the gpat with the help of gpat yes, we yes, get yes. admissions in good colleges like so yeah. your views on gpat exam for a graduate uh like gpat first of all it gets you admission in top most colleges of india like nipers yeah. iits and everywhere that is qualifying yeah. examination for the niper entrance exam itself yeah when you qualify gpat only then you can attempt for niper otherwise you are not eligible to give niper 
so uh, that's the importance of gpat and also after that you when you get to uh, go with such a reputed institutes you get to learn more about pharmacy okay it is not, not just a small thing a pharmacy which people consider it is you get many opportunities you can move to like nowadays pharmacies combined with it sector also so now yeah. we have competitive intelligence market research and everything so you can go that field also you can go for research and everything you can go for industry jobs so there are many opportunities which people don't even know but after yeah. qualifying gpat after getting to good institutes you have knowledge of all these things yeah and even i have experienced this too like when we go for an interview in companies so there would be i guess some partiality for a who has qualified gpat person right so do, do you feel the same uh like i heard the half thing yeah i was just saying like uh, you know while interview while you go for an interview in any company or industry so we can yes, see yes. Uh, so we have some importance who have qualified gpat so did you feel the same yes. while you have went for interview or something like that yes gpat does does help because when you prepare for gpat now you get to know pharmacy in depth because yeah. when we do b pharm and everything pharmacy we do not study in that depth but for gpat you have to study subjects all the subjects in depth so you get a knowledge of it which is further beneficial for you in future interviews yeah yeah that's and and my question was how did you was able to manage your time like while preparing manage ha huh, yeah for preparing ah, okay, okay. because you had to do your records you had to submit your assignments then yes. semester exam <laughs> and even though friends would be there it was the time to enjoy so how you used to yeah, manage yeah yeah uh like it was difficult because i was studying in autonomous college and we were not supposed to miss the colleges or you can take leaves and everything we had a strict schedule of 10 to uh, 5:30 of college like 10 to 5:30 we have to go to college we have to attend practicals and records and everything we have to give the exams we have to study for those exams also so that was a bit difficult like i started preparing for gpat in my third year only Yeah. Uh, end of second year, I started preparing for that only. So my coaching and everything, coaching stuff and everything. So it was very difficult to manage. But yeah, when you have to get something, you have to manage things and timing, <laughs> and you have to give sleeves, and you have to miss all the parties with friends and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. So for me, COVID has helped while for preparation. So for me, during COVID, so there was not much college to go. so i was in final year so then i got much time to prepare so i was able to prepare on myself so did you got coaching from somewhere for this preparation uh yes i got coaching uh, like uh, most of the pharma students uh, know about the coaching that pharma sapiens uh, uh-huh. same coaching i uh, preferred that and it was like everybody knows about that coaching that they, uh, they teach very well and we had our coaching times in morning like from 7:30 our coaching used to begin to 7:30 to 9:30 was our coaching time and then from 10 our college used to start so 10 to 6:30 was our college so we have so to wake up like at 5 and everything online coaching or offline coaching no it was offline coaching because that time covid i uh, qualified gpad in 2020 na so that yeah, yeah. time uh, there was everything was offline before covid everything so we used to go to coaching we used to attend the classes and also on the weekends like saturday sunday there was 12 hours of coaching 12 hours to 13 hours continuous coaching we attended yeah. so when you actually started preparation for gpad like uh, uh, at year? the end of second year when i came to know uh, my seniors told me that you should like little bit you should start preparing and uh, that will be helpful for you also i would like to suggest people that if they are looking for gpat they must even, at least try once in third year like that can be a mock test for them i did tried uh, in third year you can just give and see what type of questions come and uh, like what is the things you have studied so everything i qualified in third year also i qualified the, that because i was studying uh, since like one two years completed my college before that only i started preparing so yeah 
and what do you think that uh, whoever might be seeing any pharma graduate right now what do you suggest him whether to go for a coaching center or to study by himself because i think based on my views in youtube there is a much content available right now so self study is better or what do you suggest for a person to go for a coaching nowadays Yes, nowadays every like whatever subject you want to study, different options you can get like YouTube right. and all the teachers are there, platforms are there. Yeah. So, uh, my personal suggestion is coaching because when you go to coaching, like there is dedicated time you need to attend it, you need to attend the test, mock test, and everything. But when it is like self study, you might be lazy sometimes. Okay, we'll study tomorrow. GPAD is not coming now and everything. so my personal suggestion is that that we should go to coaching because everything test they do mock test they do they are very they are very very helpful yeah that's okay and uh, just give me strategy regarding subjects in gpad like how you okay use it so to... yes yes like uh, the core subjects which are like pharmacology medicinal chemistry pharmaceutics these are the core subjects you cannot leave these subjects at any cost like yeah. you cannot think of leaving them you have to study them in depth and uh, these are obviously they have vast syllabus pharmaceutics is having vast syllabus ecology is having vast syllabus medicinal chemistry is also very vast but it's like they, they are the important subjects then to me uh i was also interested always in chemistry so chemistry was something which i used to like but the subjects like pharmaceutical like engineering one that engineering is there when jurisprudence is there they also hold some weightage though the questions are less but sometimes they like two to three questions are there in the paper you will see two three questions are there of sutic engineering also jurisprudence also everything so those subjects can be like take us some lightly Yeah. but the core subjects they should not take lightly yeah so core subjects are the most important so uh, yeah subject, sure sure subject do you use it to find challenging because i use it to find chemistry as more challenging because you have to remember all these chemical reactions name of reactions around like 40 to 50 so i yeah. used to just pick them so what you use it to feel challenging uh for me bit sutics was bit challenging chemistry was something because chemistry my basics were very clear for those who face challenges in chemistry i'll suggest them you should focus on uh if you focus on like basics of chemistry of 12th and everything then the chemist medicinal chemistry becomes bit easy i wouldn't say it is like as a very easy it will become but a bit easy it becomes if you focus and if you have well uh, knowledge of all the basics thing for me so it takes what bit challenging because everything we have to like uh, keep in mind and memorize everything in that you cannot just put any logic and anything there you have to memorize that okay this is the thing in so it takes we have to memorize so that was a bit uh, difficult for me yeah so after gpat did you have given any other institute exams other than this iit bhu like naipur dipshar so any other exams Oh uh, yes, Naipur also I attempted. Ah, uh, but before Naipur because COVID, ah, uh, was the year twenty twenty. So Naipur got very delayed. It happened like in September. Okay. Ah, uh, in twenty twenty because of COVID and everything. Until that, I got admission in IIT BHU. I was ah uh, admitted and ah uh, that time IIT BHU did not had any entrance. Now they are having entrance separate entrance also, but in yeah. that year they did not have. so uh, i got admission on the basis of my gpad rank only i gave naipur also in that uh, i scored uh, my rank was around 600 because i was prepared to go to iit bhu so IIT i did not <laughs> prepare for naipur i was <laughs> finalized that okay i am going to this institute okay so i just want to ask like what are your particular challenging moments while your preparation challenging moment is to balance between the like your college life and to prepare for the uh, like gpat itself because in gpat you have to uh, start learning from the starting which you which the subjects have already passed in the semester so that is a bit challenging to balance the life and you cannot miss the college so you have to wake up till night to study 
and then also in morning also so you have to give away your sleeps and everything for that so for one year i was like totally dedicated to it it requires time gpat uh, it's not like that easy to crack it Mm-hmm. Qualify it might be, but to secure a good rank, right. you need a depth knowledge of all the things. Right. Exactly. So, and how was the life in IIT VHU? Ah, uh, it was quite good. Obviously, you get exposure to everything, and uh, my specialization was pharmacology. There also project work and everything you have to do. Ah, uh, first year is all about the studies. like on uh, uh, the exams and everything but the second year is project so that you have to literally you have to do project you cannot just uh, do anything and i uh, get so it was good and interesting life yeah. at iit bhc also did you into thought of a phd after masters yes i did thought of phd and i still have plans like i have not given up yet but uh, i wanted exposure of corporate life uh, yeah. because after studying for like 6 7 years 4 years of bachelor's 2 years of masters you are like okay now i need i want to work so i switched to corporate yeah. now let's see because everything you have to start again the preparations of exam and every all the stuff you need to go to books and dig everything so i might uh it's not sure but yeah there are plans that i may switch to phd so what would be the best branch according to current job market to choose from mpharm after bpharm like it depends upon person to person first of all everybody's yeah. choice uh people go to like industry you can opt for industry jobs they say that do, they don't pay enough in pharmacy industry jobs yeah. but initially they they don't pay but gradually when you have experience sometime then you will be get getting good paid and if you are passing out from good institutes like nipers and iits then yes you get a good a starting package also it's yeah. not that you don't get plus now competitive intelligence is also an emerging market of pharma where healthcare yeah. is getting involved then pharmaco vigilance is also a very uh, yeah. growing market yeah. all the multinational companies like tcs and every they are yeah. going into yeah. this so you can also opt for this field also they are providing like work from home opportunities nowadays so yeah. you can go for that also now you have yeah. a plenty of opportunities after m pharm yeah medical coding medical writing uh, sars yes so yeah they currently now more it sector is down to the pharma industry right now yes now you and they are paying well like very well they are paying now so it's yes. not but yeah you need to be from good institute that is for sure they prefer institute they prefer students from good good institutes yeah so and uh, at last my last question so how do you think i can improve my channel uh like you are doing a great work by like giving people an insights of everything and we been as a student of pharma yeah. they will connect more because just giving motivational talks is not enough na we have been yeah. through that we have uh, felt everything so uh, first of all you are great doing a great job then to improve uh, you can like bring the reality to people like okay this is the thing that happens how you can prepare for gpats it's not that you have to study day and night and give up give up everything don't go anywhere do everything enjoy life also with that but yeah study equally so like to the people you can bring uh, those people who balance the life and everything balance the work also and balance the life also and people have myth na that uh, pharma has no like only you can work in industries that's the only option in after doing pharmacy that's not many of my friends are like in very very different kinds of fields they are earning very good after doing m pharm so we you can bring people from different different sectors who are working so people will understand okay this is all this is also an opportunity i can go after doing m pharm there is only not that's the industry manufacturing job pharmaceutical company job that i have to do i can uh, prefer any other jobs also so yeah. you can bring people from other the sectors yeah where do you use it to practice this mock test for the exam like yes, yes. you use it to follow a current books or online you use it to 
Uh, I followed books also uh, and uh, plus there were exams which were like given to us by the coaching only the pharma sapiens mm -hmm. online exams which were all India level exams so mm -hmm. they were very important exams they help a lot mm -hmm. and uh, also I used to be like practice books also yeah. through books we can uh, like a bit boring yeah. Uh, which I personally felt uh, attempting lots and lots of questions with books is a bit boring than same same section. So mock test has better, which has all the questions of pharmaceutics, pharmaceutical chemistry and everything. So mock tests are better. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Shreya. Thank you for being a host and sharing your valuable information today. And uh, hope you uh, see, so see you personally sometime. Uh, thank yeah, you for yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. If I'll ever we get a time to meet soon. And yeah. uh, thank you so much. I hope that people may learn some things and they may get some. And yeah, you're doing a great job. Yeah, thank you.